Good morning, good morning, good morning, you guys. We are outside. We're at the park. We're outside. Um, once a week, JB and I are walking. We go all the way to CVS, which is like 1.5 miles. Um, and he bikes, so I'll show you guys what he looks like biking. <laughs> Look at that. You don't have the pedal, but we're going downhill. Yeah, this is JB's little friends. Be amazing. Oh, yeah, amazing. Slow, <laughs> you hear them saying JB. <laughs> oh, the joys of living in Phoenix. I bought two or three houses before. What is it, baby? It healed that quick. That's awesome. Two or three houses before we get home, JB starts screaming. I'm like, what is it? My big toe, my big toe. I hit my, I'm like, what are you? I, Cause I don't see anything that he would have tripped over. Took off his sandal and there's a, um, a cacti needle. We have what's called jumping cactuses here. If you just get a little bit close to it, the needles would jump out. It's like a defense mechanism. The needles would jump out and embed in your foot, whatever. This is the second time he's been attacked. Forgotten. This is so pretty. Y'all, this is the prettiest twist out ever. So pretty. I, I mean, I need to, need to sell my, my product. Look at this storm coming in, y'all. This is crazy. The temperature has now dropped. Probably can't see. Uh, definitely over there, the storm's coming. The temperature has dropped a good 15 degrees since yesterday. Phoenix is crazy. Look at all the babies out here running around. This this section area is specifically for first grade and kindergartners. Where is my belt? <laughs> Where's JB at? I put on JB a red. Where is he at? Can, can y'all see him? Where did he go? I let him take something to school and I told him not to do anything with it. Yeah, y'all, the temperature dropped, so it's 61, and I'm a planner, okay? I had all my outfits planned. Oh, there goes the bell. Hold on, y'all, let me go give my baby a kiss. <laughs> you cold, baby? Are you cold? Mm -hmm. Have a good day, sweetheart. Bye-bye. Yeah, I'm parked outside of the grocery store. I'm only getting two things. I'm going to contact... What time is it? What time is it in Switzerland, y'all? I need to contact someone over there. Um, Lioness, y'all know who Lioness Davis is? I think she lives in. Yeah, she lives in Switzerland. She does. She lives in Switzerland. I've, I've spoken to her. We're Facebook friends, so I want to ask her about because she's one of the only few people. Those of you who don't know, I'm in the middle of a grease. Um, I reuse some grease for my hair for a twist out, but I use the green. No. The blue one instead of the green one. Which one? I used the blue one instead of the green one. And she's one of the only few people I've seen on YouTube that shows the difference between the two. She stated the one that I use is a lot greasier. So um, I'm going to ask her if she's ever used it with gel. Because I still don't think it's going to give me enough hold. And since it's raining, it's going to be humid a couple of days. And I'm really perturbed. Um, I'm also going to ask her how many times she uses it a week. I just want to know because she has thick hair. She has thick hair too. I set my hair yesterday. I'm not taking it down to Thursday. So I'm wondering. I'm just wondering if I could use just a little bit more Wednesday night with a gel or if that's going to be too much. Let me ask her, y'all. Let me see if she's up. <laughs> what time is it over there? Um, girl, I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, it's, it's not too bad. It's 5 13. 5.13 p.m. It says that she's online. Oh, no. It just says... She's so pretty. Who is this? Nick. Y'all, Nick... <laughs> Nick makes me laugh. Nick sent me a message last night talking about my mama want, my mama wants her ship about Papa Do's. I said, you, child, you better send uh, Mama Dean. She needs to simmer down and eat her fish. Y'all love me some Papa Do's. The one out here is not that great, but the Papa Do's in um, Texas is off the chain. I know right? that last night while I was on Instagram and people were going crazy over the Met Gala. If y'all don't, I don't know why people don't see how the symbolism and all that stuff. And I'm not trying to be, you know, Illuminati headhunter, all that, you know, I'm not, whatever. But there, some of that stuff is way too, I mean, you can look at it. The way they were in the headpieces. 
I'm like, oh, dark forces are in. <laughs> the dark forces are coming out. It's not funny. But the only one that I really um, was like, what hell, come through was uh, Lady Gaga. Everything else, I don't know, my, my my spirit was bothered. Looking at all that and the crowns and, and the, you know, like I said, the, the sub the subconscious symbolism surrounding their um what do you, I don't know what you call it their uniform <laughs> yeah it's dark in here because it's dark and she's not in Switzerland I don't know why I thought that she's in Sweden um we're just talking now but long story short girl she has not used uh gel with grease and she told me good luck all right y'all I'm home this is gonna pick up boo boo Oh, I hope that I didn't see. Sorry, y'all. This is kind of shut, yeah. Uh, it's gonna get flagged. Um, I'm not feeling up to it, so we're not doing karate today. Normally, he has karate on Tuesdays and Thursday, but with the weather being Mama, droopy, oh, baby. Really not anytime soon, baby. Soon, baby. It has to be clean, okay? And plus, we want everything perfect. And I have my decorations up there. I gotta be in the mood, okay? <laughs> Um, I'm gonna fix me this big pot of fix me a bowl of soup and lay it down. Maybe I'm talking to the people. Is the glass up? Huh? Is the glass up? No, baby, it's coming tomorrow. It's, it's gonna be a busy week. Um, it's Teachers Appreciation Week, and JB just told me it's there's a theme every day. And I'm doing every every day. You don't have to. I'm doing every day because I appreciate these teachers. It's a hard job, okay? I couldn't do it. You couldn't do it. But some of you guys are teachers. You are very appreciated. So every week is a theme. I was complaining about it at first because I'm like, what the heck? But tough it up, Vivian. I just went to the dollar store and got some stuff. Like today was book day. So I found the book in his collection. Gently used. Like I think we've only read it twice. Tomorrow is supplies. No, snack and then their supplies, and then you give them a gift, which I'm gonna show y'all the gift, but JB told me today, no one else bought a book. I said, you were the only one that bought something? He's like, yeah, y'all. I get it though, you know, tell these parents. So let me show y'all what I bought her, his teacher. First of all, I bargain shop and I re-gift. Not re-gift, but I go shopping in my stuff. So half of this stuff, I already had at home. I shopped in my my makeup, y'all. I need to declutter. If it, if I can shop in my makeup and give people stuff, and this is not even all the new stuff. This is from last year, Matley Matt. I'm giving her that eyeshadow I showed y'all from Dollar Tree. I have a couple of um, what do you call them? Package for face face mask and lotion that I had already. So I spent a dollar on the cup and two dollars on the bag three dollars because everything else i had at home done there's your gift mama so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and fix me some soup i'm fixing jb's lunch for tomorrow and um i'm gonna lay it down yeah. all right y'all i just have to turn on the camera to show y'all um what i'm cooking today i haven't made a very detailed cooking in the middle of my vlogs video in a while so i have time today so i'm gonna show you so it's a little cold out here um so i'm gonna make some chicken corn chowder so I'm gonna show y'all some alternatives alternatives though because this soup is the base for a lot of soups this soup actually is a base for chicken pot pie and chicken noodle soup you can switch it up though you know depending on what ingredients you have or what you like let me put this butter to the side so you hear the chicken on the side bubbling away and y'all I cook what I have in my fridge better than bouillon premium oh yes premium <laughs> Roasted chicken base made with seasoned roasted chicken. You have to be real careful now when you add in salt or using salt because most chicken bouillon already has sodium in it unless you get one with, with um, reduced or no sodium. Now I'm going to go back to this. Let's just leave that behind. So what you hear behind here is some chicken. Now technically you can just go ahead and boil chicken but what I like to do, okay this is extra flavor. I'm going to go ahead, this, these are chicken tenders. I'm sorry y'all. Chicken thighs. Chicken thighs in my opinion or um, juicier. So all I'm doing here is seasoning up my chicken thighs. I have here some garlic powder, pepper, onion powder, Italian seasoning, some Him Himalayan pink salt. You want to use regular salt, that's fine. All right, so yeah, I had to switch and um, cause that, that yeah, whatever, that wasn't working. <laughs> that wasn't working, so 
I have to switch this out, all right? Because I want to put my um, vegetables in there. And the chicken is over there. Look at it. Look at it, y'all. It ain't going to take long at all. So I have... Oh, by the way, what you see down there is the grease I use from the chicken. Oh, yes, girl. We ain't wasting nothing. We, we cooking like it's the Great Depression, okay? I'm going I'm to keep an eye on it. You can even add your seasons now if you want. Look at all that garlic. About 10, 10 minutes or so, I'm going to add a little bit of oil, olive oil. Hmm. One and a half tablespoons. Maybe not even that. This is going to be so good. I don't have a lot of heavy cream in there, unfortunately. I have about, I would say, uh three-fourths of, of a cup all right so my chicken is done I'm gonna take two forks and shred it apart not shred shred not not you know I like a little bit of chunky well <laughs> I like a little bit of I don't know I don't like the meat to be so small okay this is my broth all the way done I turned the eye back on for this and so we're gonna um bring her back up sprinkle in some flour and y'all, we're at the home run. I'm going to let it simmer for about 15, 20 minutes. And that is it. Okay, this is what it looks like with my chicken stock in here. Now, if you are vegetarian and if you don't eat meat, fine. You can use veggie broth and omit the chicken. Okay, um, add like some chickpeas to it. That sounds good. Okay, once the veggies are done, this is what we're looking at like now. You see how I meant that I didn't really break up the chicken too bad so once the veggies are done I'm gonna pour in my heavy cream sprinkle on the parsley and we are done all right y'all we are done I've turned it off and look how thick it's gotten now I thickened it up with cornstarch um just take took some of that leftover uh chicken broth and pour it like one tablespoon of cornstarch you gotta be careful with cornstarch too because it could change the taste of your soups or whatever so yes I am done so this is what I'm gonna have for dinner for today and tomorrow maybe the next day but this is great because you can also freeze this I'm not in a mood. I, I, I'm not in the mood. Uh, it's just, I don't know. There's stuff going on. Um, uh, I'm okay with it. The glass guy didn't come yesterday. My husband was extremely pissed off. And then we started arguing about it. And I basically was like, it's not a big deal. You know, the guy, I guess the guy had accidentally, um, he didn't measure one part. And I was trying to, you know, tell my husband, compared to what we had to deal with, that is nothing. I'm trying to be quiet because he's back there asleep. I'm like, that's nothing. So the guy came last night, late last night, and took the measurements. And he said he'll come over Friday. Look, the bathroom is 90% done. Just the glass up and we're good. So, moody about that girl. Today, I'm the reason why I'm beat and the hair is laid is because um, JB has an event this morning for Mother's Day. He was acting an absolute like the Tasmanian devil, like out of control this morning. He, ugh, he was going in, look, six o'clock this morning. I'm not a morning person. Now my ass would get up in the morning, but don't mess with me, don't bother me. Huh? So six o'clock this morning, he's going around through the house pretending like he's in a game. Like he's a character in a game, opening up doors and shit. I was like, you need to come back. So I dropped his little ass off early. I'm not in the mood to be around 200 kindergartens, but we gotta fake it, you know? So let me show y'all what I'm wearing. wearing. And then I gotta go. My best friend called me and see what she wants. So I got this from Ross. This is a shirt, but also, you see how it goes out like that? These are my shoes. I'm a bargain shopper. I got these shoes from the Goodwill for $6. Let me show you what my outfit looks like. This is my necklace, this is my makeup. The hair is already up. The hair is from um, Blue Magic, Grease. Just, yeah. Then I got upset because I was doing my research on Blue Magic and find out Blue Magic is not black owned. It used to be black owned. All right, let me show y'all. See how it comes out like this? I don't like that, but it's okay. And I'm just wearing my black and white purse. 
just to give it a pop up, you know, break up the black, you know. Oh, Lord, yeah. Let me call my best friend and get me in a good mood. And uh, hopefully these babies will put me in a good mood. Sometimes kids can bring joy. This is the little flower that we got from Mother's Day. Just one more thing for me to take. No. I got it, baby. Okay, let's go. Sorry. Is a lot going on, huh? You want to go back this way or go down that way? Alright, so what I want you to do is, however you need to pop the bubble again. Ryan Little. <laughs> Yoga! Like I'm about to go free a bunch of slaves with this damn. <laughs> you want to be free, girl? Follow me. Lord have mercy, child. Let me let me do something, y'all. I am not getting out to get JB. Did y'all hear about that Houston? Um, was it in Houston? Principal it was like you you can't come up here and your booty shorts and your you know we don't want to see no damn SpongeBob pajamas. I agree with that principal. Y'all hear about that? She enforced a dress code for the parents. Well, I agree and disagree. I cannot imagine telling my big mama what she could wear to go pick up her own child. But my big mama wasn't dressed like that. She had enough sense not to be walking out the house looking like a dang on fool. Some of these young parents, some of y'all just be looking a mess. Now this is about as ratchet as I'm gonna look. But when I look like this, I put my butt in the pickup line. I'm not gonna embarrass my baby. Not At least not today. <laughs> Oh yeah, my tooth still hurts. It's my gums, really. I got an appointment in for Thursday, but that's too far because I I, I want to eat. I want to eat some good food. I want to eat some food with some, with some crunch. Um, that's my neighbor gonna go pick up her baby. I need to get with you. Y'all see the van pass by? I don't know what it is, y'all. I there are so many settings on this particular camera, and this is one of the older vlogging cameras that a lot of the vloggers were using. Something. I don't know what happened, but something was off. So we're gonna try to use this auto setting. This is why I'm glad I'm gonna be slowing down on some videos so that I don't have to be stressed out about this shit. But yeah, it's just, yeah, it's been a weird two weeks. They finished our bathroom finally yesterday, this morning. Um, we're gonna go to Walmart because I had ordered some rugs from Wayfair. First of all, I ordered four rugs from Rayfair. I ordered a long rug to go, go across the Jack and Jill sinks, the double sinks, excuse me. That was a good quality rug. Well, the rugs that came in yesterday are so cheap. It's like some rugs you will put in to stage a cheap ass apartment. I'm like, oh no, they're thin and the quality is cheap. So I've already initiated the return process to send those back to Wayfair. And we're just gonna go up to Walmart and get some more different rugs. Now JB is off today because we have another dentist appointment. Since my teeth, I'm having some swelling on my gums. I think there's something. I think there's something wrong with this filling. So I have a dentist appointment in the morning myself. But look, y'all. I look. I don't. This is what I want to talk about real quick. I don't get on Facebook a lot. Sorry. I don't get on Facebook a lot. Probably once or twice this morning. Child, I got on this morning. I don't know, y'all. Sometimes looking at stuff, I think anyone, anyone, when you look at certain type of stuff in the morning, it puts you in a mood. One girl, one of my friends posted that um, this her uh, father, her first child, passed away suddenly yesterday. He had addiction issues, and it's one of the reasons why they divorced, I believe. That's just so sad. And her child is the same age as JB, you know. Uh, someone else posted the father suddenly died yesterday. I'm like, oh my gosh. I'm like, let me get out of here and scroll down. Look at something else. Scroll down and there was a woman, y'all. When I read this, I'm in a white group. And I don't want to get into too much detail because we're technically not supposed to share this information, right? But there was a woman who stated that after 21 years, her husband left her yesterday. She went to go take a shower and looked around and saw that some stuff was missing. And 
after an hour, it finally hit her. And so she kept calling, 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 calling. He wouldn't call her back. Finally, she got a hold of him. And you know, after 21 years of marriage, raising their two kids who are now grown and in college, he is bored. And he feels like this is the best time to basically leave. He's bored with the marriage. The only reason why he stuck around all this time is he felt like they, meaning the kids and her, needed her. So the thing that breaks my heart is that she, and it's not to say when you get in a marriage, you have a backup plan. But as a woman, you always want to be able to stand on your own two feet and not necessarily need a man to come. I don't, I don't want to say completely you. Her, her posts come off as, she basically says she doesn't know what to do. Like, you know, she has a job, but she, she has no idea what to do. She feels like she needs a, a explanation, more explanation of why. And I get it. I honestly get it. Girl, my husband better not ever. Do you hear me? First of all, he already knows I'm crazy. So he better not ever. Um, And that's not, <laughs> y'all know I'm crazy. But, you know, at the end of the day, I've heard of this happening, y'all, where a spouse just gets up and leave and say they're bored, they're done. Oh, he said he still loves her. And unfortunately, it happens where people are like, they're done. The marriage is done. But what I don't understand after 21 years, you have waves. You, 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 there's ups and downs of any relationship, especially in a mar marriage. Like right now, my husband and I are in a state of we're tired. You know what I mean? We're tired. We're over it just because of stuff going on with the house and it's been straining on our marriage. So we can't wait to have this trip to kind of rekindle and we make sure we have our date night. Girl, could you imagine? I'm sorry, but that was so damn passive aggressive to pack up your shit and move while she while she's in a shower so you don't have to confront her. And, to, and so he already had all this planned, girl, because he already had a place to go and everything. I wouldn't be surprised if there was another woman because rarely do you hear of a man just taking his stuff and leaving and sitting up somewhere else. I'm telling y'all, that is crazy out here. So I'm going to try to be positive, redo my bathroom. Um, <laughs> we're going to be cooking. I'm going to be cooking chicken lettuce wraps. Y'all see that? Something's gone. I need to fix the lighting. The lighting is going in and out, in and out, in and out. And it shouldn't be doing that. The lighting should be stabilized. May I get it adjust? But it shouldn't be adjusting this this much i've tried every setting i don't know hopefully it will correct itself i didn't drop it so we'll see y'all all right y'all i'm rambling i need to go warm up my coffee i didn't even drink any of y'all finally 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 our bathroom is complete <laughs> we started this those of you who don't know girl you don't know now you know we started this project back in february it is may 15th we let go of the people who originally started it two weeks ago. The new contract is finished in, I would say, one and a half weeks. Okay. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. This is our walk-in shower. Um, this is considered to be a seamless type shower. Um, we wanted to go for, at least I, girl, I want to go for all, a very natural spa-like feel. We have the chrome what do you call this um shower handle and the shower up there the shower head now there's no filter on this so i will not be washing my hair in this shower which i'm kind of perturbed about because all this room to put my conditioners and shampoos and stuff the baby's here Jake. Okay. what baby um, that's not the same shower oh, jb i'll come fix it okay i'm showing them the shower and i'll come fix it okay the natural looking rock here, the rock along the border, and then we have the jet, the jetted tub, girl. Now, y'all, this is going to be a beast to clean um, because you have to ensure ensure that the the pipes stay clean. Um, I need to clean the shower. I mean, this at the bottom here, I just saw some dirt. Um, if not, it can cause all type of issues. So I went and used. I already had some stuff, but then I also purchased some things. I didn't spend hardly any money on this stuff. All of this stuff that I purchased new is from the Dollar Tree. Really, really nice. And the rugs match. This rug match the rugs that are in here. And yeah. So I love it. I love it. I love it. I can't wait to use it. Um, we will officially be able to use it by, he said two days. And so we will take off the tape. It should be good to go. And yeah, y'all, this is nice, nice, nice. Really nice. Alright <clears throat> y'all, right, now you can really see the coloring. This is so pretty. This is a bad. 
bad swimsuit has to tie to it. I heard you, baby. I'm talking to the people. He pushed the button. So sweet. Break life card and the battle line. And we went like, uh. Oh, it was that funny? And he went like, um, he could get Child, I don't know where my husband went. Typically on his days off, he goes grocery shopping to get all his snacks. He better give me something. I am not. <laughs> yeah, so sorry. Girl, I think I'm going to end this vlog now. I was waiting to have a vlog where I could reveal this dang on bathroom, girl. Just over it, but I'm excited we are done. Now, the next project, I know those of you who follow me on Instagram, you saw we're going to have to wait a while because... I don't know y'all. I'm hoping that with a painting, I would assume that with painting a house, it shouldn't take no dang on months. You know, it's just, you should be good from beginning to end within a week. Um, that's gonna be the next project I need to discuss with my husband. I need time soon because I know he's over it, but I need to discuss with him, to discuss with him a timeline because I wanna work on my she room. I have this furniture I need to be putting together for, but it doesn't make any sense, like I stated in my other vlogs, it does not make any sense to put the room all together and have to take everything down if we're gonna be painting in like a month or so. Um, so I'm just gonna hold off and I have everything ready to make it perfect, even the bedding. I, I showed some of you guys what it looks like in my previous vlog. So, um, so all right y'all, next week is the last day of school. Mm, let me tell you something. I have to go and sing an old because I'm not, I'm not ready. I love the Lord. He heard my cry. Those of you who Baptist, you know, you know. To get my mind right with this child being home. Yes, he's going to be in camp Monday, Wednesday, Friday, but his little ass is going to be here Tuesday and Thursday all day working my nerves. Girl, <laughs> y'all know I'm extra. Are y'all ready for your kids to be out of school, girl? Are you ready for this dang on? How many days we have? We actually go to school early. They start going back to school August 1st. But are you ready for them to be home and working your nerves? So I have stuff planned for Jay to do. I already created my little summer packages for him to um work at from home. And uh, yeah, but yeah, I'm not ready. So next week's gonna be a little bit busy. I will try to film as much as possible because my baby's officially graduating from kindergarten. Um, so we'll be filming that. Anyway, y'all, I'm rambling at this point. Thank y'all for your support. And yeah, that's it. Take care, y'all. Bye.